Hi gang, welcome back to Marriott's Koi Pond. If you're a subscriber, uh, if not anybody new popping along, please hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Be appreciated. Uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, half past seven, 16th of May. Uh, bit dark and gloomy and, and wet, just filming this in between showers. Uh, went back through my old videos this week and uh, last year I took the covers off 7th of April last year and I took the covers off two or three days ago so what's that 13th of May this year so over four weeks difference uh, and it's still getting cold here at night even now but anyway I couldn't live with the covers on there anymore so I took the covers off uh, you'll have to forgive all this blossom guys it's a bit messy I'll have to live with it for the next uh, three or four weeks but I do I so love that tree you know you come out of a long dark winter and when I see that coming to blossom that really cheers me up so I'm reluctant to lose it you know I just put up with the inconvenience of the, of the blossom dropping you know but oh, that's glorious that is and that like I say that really cheers me up coming out winter no wrens this year I'm surprised at that uh, I've raised three clutches in that box for the last three years but this year they haven't come near it but I can't remember uh, I can't remember if you see that bat, that tin bat. I'm not sure if that's scaring them off or not. I can't remember if that was there last year or not. I'll have to look back through the videos. But I've got blue tits in that nest box at the end. A pair of blue tits raising the clutch in there. Just planted all my pond baskets up, put them in the pond today. Just refresh the soil that was in there. Put the auto feeder on. That's firing 14 times a day that is. That starts off at, uh, I think it's 7 o'clock in the morning and finishes at 8 o'clock at night. All the pond baskets have gone in today. Oh, what else have I done? Oh, I've planted some uh, planted some acer, acer bushes down by the side of the pond. And I've made a decision. I am going to move that shower. I'm going to move that shower to that back wall of the pond. And then where that, the gap behind that shower where it is now. Once I've moved that shower, I shall plant some more acer trees in there. Or well, not trees, but bushes. And I've got some uh, got some new ferns to go in that shower as well. Sounds like Luton Airport's just started up, up and running again. Looks like a nursery on this patio. <laughs> I 
I've got some ferns there. Actually, that's a nice fern. I think I'll put that fern in the shower. And those sedums, I'm going to plant up. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to put that, I'm going to plant that on top of the shower. Here's another Acer to go in behind the shower. When I move the shower, it'll go in the gap. A couple of little ones over there as well. And all this, uh, all the rest of these plants here, I've started to, uh, I've started to dig out where that air source heat pump is, uh, and I shall landscape there. And most of those plants will be going in there. But it's been so wet this week. Every time I put a spade in, it's just, uh, it's just mud. Got some more sedums to go on top of the shower. Oh, a little bird bar for the birds. We used to have like a plastic, like a plastic orange, I don't know what you call it, I suppose it's uh, something you stand like a big giant pots in, like a saucer. We used to have that filled up for water for the birds, they love it in the summer, but it's a bit ugly stuck on the side of the pond, so I thought, I thought that was ideal. Put a couple of pebbles in there so they uh, can stand in there. That shower is now going to live against that back wall there. And like I say, I've got some ferns to go in there. This is where the blue tits are nesting. All the alliums have started coming up now. Sure sign springs on the way, well here. Yeah. Just wish it would warm up a bit. But this forget me not cheers me up as well. When I see that come out, I think you know spring's arrived. Really does cheer me up, that does. That's what I've done on top of the uh, air source heat pump. Uh, got like a tray and I've just filled it up with saxifrage, Oops. saxifrage, not sure the correct terminology of it. And I've started, uh, I've started squaring this up. But like I say, it's, uh, every time I stick a spade in there, it's just mud, it's constant rain all week. Made a bit of a, uh, made a bit of a step there so I can get to the, uh, so I can service my skimmer. It just needs uh, levelling off and planting up now. There's a whacking great big fern that self seeded about five years ago that I dug up. I suppose, when did I dig that up? Just before I fitted this air source heat pump. Anyway, I split it into clumps and replanted it. Uh, there's one big lump there. That's really taken off. There's a couple more I'll split up and put over there. I well, don't forget me not, it really cheers me up when I see that. But I think that'll look, uh, that'll look nice when that's all planted up. Nothing much to report in here. Yeah. Put the light on. Nothing much to report in here. Everything's hunky dory. Uh, upflow filter. Still astonished with what that takes out. Still amazes me every time I clean out. I cleaned it today actually. And uh, I stood there, you know, gazing into that bucket while I emptied it. And uh, just astonishing what that takes out. The only thing I have noticed with it, like three days, I think you have to do it every three days. Or I do anyway. But, uh, 
that's amazing what that takes out of there. And to look at it, you don't even, it doesn't even look dirty, you know. Like I say, I've done it this afternoon. It looks clean, but the, the water was like chocolate. It was unbelievable. I'm well pleased I fitted that. Nothing else to report in here, guys. Uh, I will automate this, I think, like Terry's done. And uh, I think it's Brummy Koi as well. But it still amazes me, you know, watching it, what it takes out. So, that'd probably be a winter job automating that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do got another one of them trays which is exactly the right length fits on top of that shower perfect and I've got some plastic coat spray paint not quite the same color but it'd be a better match than black I think it's ivory color I've got so I shall paint it put it on top of there and fill it up with uh, sedums you know like they put on uh, green roofs on buildings and sheds they sort of look after themselves, you know, they can they can withstand drought, so I don't have to worry about getting up there every two minutes watering it. Well, here comes the rain again. Solomon seal, that's self-seeded, that comes up every year. Now that, that's a glorious acer that is. Absolutely glorious. And another one there in that pot there. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because uh, the rain's coming down again. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please uh, tick the like button and uh, any new subscribers or anybody new watching the channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.